All right, guys, so I am getting ready to make the power building the power building. We've got uh, the distribution panel up. That's the one that'll have the split phase, you know, the, the power we all, we all know, you know, the 240 with a, with a neutral. That gives you like 120 and 120 and 240, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, that'll come out after the transformer. And then before the transformer will be this guy, which I'm, it is a split phase box, but I'm just using it as a single phase. So we'll end up bonding these two together and, you know, basically just, it's, it's really just used as a combiner box. It happens to have some breakers in it. So, you know, it'll protect the individual, um, inverters but mostly I'm just using it to combine all the inverters together and then feed the transformer um, and I was gonna go this as far as how I was connecting these and I thought you know <laughs> if I just punch a hole in the side and run a piece of conduit between each of them I can just feed all the wires right through there and use each of these as a little box because I mean I'm only gonna have at most like eight wires coming through right here and it's three quarter inch so I think I can run like I don't remember 17 or something wires through a three quarter inch tube um, so I don't remember how many it is exactly as far as how many can be load and neutral and blah 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 but I know I have more than enough space in fact what I'll probably do is run the uh, the solar wires through those same tubes so I can run my yeah We'll, uh, we'll talk about that when I have it up on the wall. It's been raining for a couple days. Um, I don't know, about 36 hours now. It, it just let up a little bit ago. Um, but we have these little swales or ditches or whatever all over the place. And they're all full of water. Um, this one's really small. I, didn't, I honestly didn't think it was going to be more than a few hundred gallons. But we've already got 300 gallons out of this. And we really only pumped down this one. And this one we've still got, you know, it's it's about two thirds full still. So, yeah, so we probably will get 600 gallons out of this little tiny thing. Plus, we've got our other tanks full, We're getting rainwater. Our rainwater tank is completely full, so we got to filter that into our long-term storage tanks and whatever. I mean, granted, none of them are painted. Actually, that's another thing I was going to show you the the. Uh, uh, latex primer stuck really well to the to the plastic IBC tote so I think we're gonna pull that out and spray it or spray them of course now they're all full of water so it's gonna be tough <laughs> I'll have to wait until we empty them so I've seen people use these lots of times the uh, you know the trash pumps the gasoline powered ones but I've not seen many people use the electric one this one's be working pretty well I mean it's only probably taking about 15 minutes to get 300 gallon almost 300 gallons up there so so we can probably get close to a thousand gallons an hour through this thing. All right, so I've got this uh, cherry picker all built so we can uh, bring our battery in tomorrow. And I've got my wall pretty well assembled here. Um, the third inverter is still powering us, so I can't uh, take that down just yet. Um, but once we get all of our conduit work done from the solar panels and the combiner box and all that stuff, then I will. I will discombobulate that one and bring it in here. But you can see how I ran the wires just straight through. And then we've got two sets of them here. I know my color's not right, but that's okay. I had a lot of blue left, so I'm like, well, blue and yellow, I have the most wire left, so that'll be the wire I use <laughs> rather than using the tiny little bit of black that I have left. So, and white. Um, but anyway, it's coming along. 